We recently attended the Canada the Wide Science Fair and discovered that a lot of our friends had the same issues with getting started. The challenges that you find when you're first starting a science fair project is actually finding an idea, an idea that you're interested in and is yet a problem for people, a relevant problem that you're actually interested in. Getting the idea is really hard, you know, getting that spark, that moment where you know you're going to do an effective science project that's going to affect society and change it in a new way, it's really hard to get that. But once you get, have that moment, once you have the idea, you're on to something good. It's really important to choose a topic that you're interested in. Once your topic is chosen, narrow it down to something you can manage effectively. Darren. Darren. Darren! It's really important to choose a topic that you're interested in. Also, check early on to make sure there are good resources available. Don't forget a timeline. This will keep you on track. Also, you will need a good logbook. This is a daily record of all of your activities concerning your project. Some of the people we talked to had mentors. Here's what they had to say about that. We had teachers and doctors and welders. We had a physiotherapist who helped us with the design of the project and what can be improved and what we should do. When we found out what we should improve, we went to Dalhousie where we had uh, physiotherapists and students help us complete tests so that we can uh, have data about how our invention actually works. So choose a topic of interest. Start early. Check your resources. Work to a timeline. And consider a mentor. Make sure that your project can be completed in the available time.